15 Reasons Princess Margaret Was the Original Royal Rule Breaker How much information do you know about Princess Margaret? Well, not too many people would be familiar with who Princess Margaret was, and this is true because she lived a relatively obscured life. Princess Margaret was the one and only sibling of the late Queen Elizabeth II, born to Prince George VI. The reason for her obscurity was that she lived an infamous royal family life which was all about breaking all royal family rules and protocols. In this video, we share with you 15 instances where Princess Margaret showed that she was the original royal rule breaker. Number 1. Pete Townsend Affair Princess Margaret has often been criticized for many things, among which included her choice of lover. She was reported to have had a love affair with an unlikely source. The princess's love entanglement with Peter Townsend had a great impact on her relations with the church. According to the report, it was said that the entanglement did a lot of damage to the church and government, as it was considered an act of defilement. Eventually, the story ended in a sad state. Number 2. Marriage to Antony Armstrong Jones Princess Margaret lived a controversial life which largely sometimes involved breaking customary royal family traditions and values. Among the traditions that the princess broke was her choice of marriage. Usually, as a royal family member, you are not expected to marry a commoner. However, for Princess Margaret, her union to a lowly palace photographer called Antony Armstrong Jones was a rule breaker that did not sit well with members of the royal family. This violation of royal customary traditions affected her marriage to the royal family. This became even worse after it was revealed that she left Townsend, who was a person of prospect, to marry a commoner like Armstrong Jones. Number 3. Her Divorce Every family is known to have a black sheep who paints the family in a bad image. Princess Margaret painted the royal family in a bad light in many ways. For example, her decision to divorce Armstrong Jones in 1979 after she married him in 1960 was a bitter experience that painted the family in a bad light. Her divorce in 1979 was the first divorce the royal family would have in a long while since the royal family witnessed the divorce of King Henry VIII in the 16th century. Her divorce was a high-profile divorce that brought some form of disgrace to the family. Number 4. She was a big fan of late-night parties The royal family is a high-value family with lots of standards to adhere to and maintain. They are known to follow strict conservative moral rules that have helped to preserve the image of the family. However, for Princess Margaret, her way of life is contradictory to the royal family. She is well known for her lavish lifestyle and late-night partying, which puts the family's name in a very bad light and undermines the values of the family. Usually you would not expect any member of the royal family to live in such a manner, but Margaret showed that she is a rule breaker in that way. Number 5. She was known for smoking Princess Margaret was the black sheep in the royal family with so many vices carried out by her. Apart from the fact that she was known to live a lavish lifestyle, which included late-night partying, she was also known to be a serial chain smoker. Her affinity for smoking was so strong that irrespective of the warnings of the negative effects of smoking, she was still addicted to smoking and smoking publicly. Her lifestyle of smoking publicly was a serious departure from the lifestyle of the royal family which is based on conservative values which are age-long and modest. Number 6. Princess Margaret's alcohol consumption lifestyle was a problem Apart from the fact that she smoked and lived a lavish lifestyle, Princess Margaret was a known alcohol consumer. She is well known for publicly taking different shades of alcohol ranging from vodka to cocktails and other different versions of alcohol. It might be argued whether members of the royal family take alcohol or not. However, what we know and what is obvious is that members of the royal family are not allowed to drink alcohol publicly and they're also not known as public drunkards, and so it was shocking for many to see her become a chronic alcoholic publicly, as it was a sharp departure from royal standards. Number 7. Her fashion choices were a rule breaker. When it comes to fashion choices in the royal family, everyone expects members of the royal family to be modest and at the same time classy, which is usually still conservative. However, Princess Margaret sets herself apart from other members of the family. 
Her fashion choices are often bold and of daring style, which passes a loud message of her liberal life. To add to it, she does it without showing that she cares. She does this because she is more of a liberal-minded person who found herself in the royal family, which is conservative. Number 8. She had an extensive association with different celebrities. The partying lifestyle of Princess Margaret only means that she is a socialite, and because of this, she would most likely make friends with different individuals and people from various places, including celebrities. Her partying lifestyle brought her in contact with celebrity stars like Mick Jagger, Peter Sellers, and Marianne Faithful. These individuals were unusual people royal family members should not be mingling with. But because Princess Margaret didn't care, a kind of lifestyle attracted such individuals. Number 9. Independent Travels Royal families have strict codes they run with, and as such their life is highly rigid. Many things may be right to do normally, but as a member of the royal family, you might not have the liberty to carry it out. That said, it is important to know that traveling as a royal family member is usually with the protocol. But for Margaret, she decided to take a different part that is not in line with established protocols. She preferred traveling without the company of the royal family. That is, she travels alone and without adequate oversight from the royal family. Usually, part of her traveling plans was a visit to the Caribbean island of Mystique, where she bought a vacation home. However, as time went, she was a source of concern to the family, but after some time, they left her to be on her own. Number 10. Her public appearances were different Princess Margaret was known to have public appearances, but not the kind of public appearance you would expect from a royal family member. Her public appearance was always in the club and at nasty parties. This attitude of hers drew negative criticism from people around the world, but her response was always nonchalant and uncaring about what people said. Usually, the royal family tradition has values that do not allow their members to be seen at nightclubs, but the visit of Princess Margaret was a rule breaker and was not well received by the family. Number 11. Princess Margaret's love of music is a rule breaker. Princess Margaret wasn't afraid to live her life the way she wanted to live it, despite being a royal family member. Her way of life and choices most of the time were always contradictory to the values that the royal family held. For example, Princess Margaret's music choice has often been cited as a rule breaker, and this was because Princess Margaret had a burning passion for music genres like jazz music, which was not what the royal family liked. Apart from her affinity for jazz music, she also has a penchant for hosting impromptu sing-alongs and karaoke at her parties. All of this was a departure from what the royal family liked. Number 12. Princess Margaret had artistic affinity While it is often said that art is life, it is also true humans do not appreciate art in the same way and with the same intensity. That is, our affinity for arts is not at the same wavelength, with different people appreciating arts in different ways. However, for the royal family, it seems as if their appreciation of arts and artworks isn't as great as you would expect. However, Princess Margaret has shown that she is of a different orientation compared to other members of the family. During her lifetime, she had a great sense of appreciation and affinity for arts and artworks. For example, she is said to be a big fan of ballet. Not only was she a big fan of ballet, but she was also the president of the Royal Ballet. Her presence in the office was strange, as you would not expect her coming from the royal family to hold that position. Number 13. Princess Margaret had a lax attitude toward protocol It is a well-known fact that the royal family is a family of protocol and traditions. They hold them so dear. However, for someone like Princess Margaret, who is not a big fan of conservatism, these rules and protocols were always a big problem for her. And as such, Princess Margaret was well known in British society for bending royal protocols to suit her wish. One common way she always bent royal rule was in her communication with the public. She was known to be direct with the public, which of course was alien to the royal family. Number 14. She had an outspoken nature Princess Margaret had an explosive, expressive life, which was expressed in various forms, which included how she expressed herself. For the record, communication from members of the royal family is more coded and not plain. Members of the royal family often avoid communication in public, but Margaret wasn't like that. She was outspoken and always expressed herself. 15. She was known for upsetting gender norms The royal family had some subliminal bias against women in the past. 
However, many individuals have passed through the family for years and have turned around things. One such individual that has turned things around was Princess Margaret. Although the consensus against her was that she was radical and a black sheep in the family, she still had some good things to her name. One of them was changing the gender norm narrative. Her approach to family issues helped project the image of women who are strong and assertive, and this has helped pave the way for more women that came after her in the royal family. Princess Margaret's life was full of so many controversial moments until she died in 2002. She was known to repeatedly break royal family rules and protocols, but this did not take away the fact she was a member of the royal family till her death. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Do well to like and share our video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more updates.